I think I have a new favourite player. Supporting Arsenal growing up, every few years there's always one player that I just love seeing in the team. For example, the ruthlessness of Cesc Fabregas or the brilliant goal scoring ability of someone like Van Persie. Added in with the unique ability of someone like Santi Cazorla and someone like Nacho Monreal who's a brilliant 7 out of 10 player every game. Now we have been a bit spoiled in the last few years and Arsenal team is at a very good level right now with every player just being so fun and been so good. But this season there's been one player that I've loved every single game and that is someone that's quite surprising at the start of the season being Takahiro Tomiyasu and let me tell you this could be one of the best bargain signs Arsenal have ever done. As you know Tomiyasu was signed in the summer of 2021 being the start of a rebuild for Mikel Arteta with Aaron Ramsdale, Ben White and Odegaard also coming in. The transfer was around £16 million and it was mostly because the agent of Tomiyasu actually went to loads of Premier League clubs and offered his services to them for that price. This at the time had a lot of criticism on Arsenal actually bringing him in in right back because Tottenham also rejected him that summer and in the first season he was a bit of an annoying player because he was actually a very reliable passer and a quite defensive monster did great defensive numbers in the 21-22 season supporting Bukayo Saka from behind pretty well however as a traditional centre back you could tell he weren't really familiar with getting forward and he didn't really get forward that well very much all season and other than that great goal against Southampton where he played a great role in he didn't really do much consistently going forward and in all competitions he only started 22 games that season he missed 18 games through injury and Arsenal didn't really have a lot of depth at the time so that cost Arsenal the top four spot. Obviously moving into 22-23 season Arsenal were a much better team obviously they fought for the title and just came second in the end but they also had brilliant defensive cover with Saliba and Zinchenko coming in while Ben White was pushed out to right back. In the first three Premier League games of the 22-23 season he actually played an inverted left back because Zinchenko was injured just as joined the club proving he's a versatile defender who could play anywhere in the back line. However he did struggle to do this role because he is more of a traditional defender like I said and not really a midfield inverted player but and in that role he had to come into midfield and help the midfield out which he was very confused by this led to different movements angles and it was very much harder for him to get on the ball and pass the ball out we've seen people like Kieran Tierney also struggle when he's had to invert but despite looking shaky against Leeds's press when Liverpool came to the Emirates and Arsenal won 3-2 Tommy Asu kept Salah quiet for most of the game who's the best right winger in the world showing his defensive prowess now midway through last season obviously there was a winter world cup and he went there with Japan who actually had big hopes in the end Japan did all right but Tommy Asu wasn't happy with performance and happy with why they got eliminated. He said that they were much better and they should have gone further. He stated that his performance was a disaster and when he came back to Arsenal he was given a start against Manchester City in a big title race and ended up giving the ball away to Kevin De Bruyne which obviously gave Man City a big win in the title race at the Emirates. So by the end of 2022 it's quite clear that he was struggling for form but his mother did pass away in them recent months so I do feel a bit of sympathy for him and unfortunately for Tommy Asu he struggled to really capture any sort of form to the rest of the season and Arsenal finished five points off the top of the champions. To improve the squad Mikel Arteta bought Yuri and Timber in this summer who's another versatile defender which is more competition for White and Tomiyasu. Now if you're showing you the pre-season games you would know Yuri and Timber is an absolute monster. He was so good against Barcelona and Manchester City before the season kicked off being pretty reliable at right back and left back but unfortunately he obviously got injured in the first game of the season against Burnley which has seen him out until the next year. Now obviously this is really bad for Arsenal. It's been really bad for Timber who's missed more games for Arsenal than he already did in his whole Ajax career. However, there are certain people that can benefit from this and one of the main ones was Tommy Asu. He had the chance to impress Mikel Arteta in many of the games because he was going to get a good run in the team and with Arsenal playing in the Champions League, Carabao Cup, FA Cup and the Premier League this season, he had a lot of opportunities to play. This season, Tommy Asu has actually played most of his minutes as that inverted left back which is Inchenko's role, showing a lot of improvement from when he first played there in the 22-23 season last year. The left back inverted role for Arsenal is very important is where he can be used to allow Arsenal to control games in possession and out of possession and an example of him doing this really well was in that Chelsea game that Arsenal got that lucky draw. Dinchenko started in the first half and Arsenal really struggled to get on the ball and have any sort of control but Tommy Asu came on in that left back spot in the second half. He gave Arsenal much more control when he came on since he is far better defensively and more a conservative passer than Zinchenko. He will just try and keep the ball running rather than go for the complicated stuff and he helped Arsenal hold on to the ball a lot more which gave him the pressure in the end to get the two equalising goals. And I think Mikel Arteta was very impressed with what he saw by Tommy Asu in that game and that's why he gave Tommy Asu a lot of chances off the bench after that. Just one week after that game, Arsenal hosted obviously champions Manchester City and obviously they got that late goal for a Martinelli deflection. And something so unique about the goal is he brought Tommy Asu on and Tommy Asu makes that run from deep to get the defenders on him, laying it off to Havertz who ends up laying it off to Martinelli to score the winner. He clearly had listened to what the manager had told him to do and he had his big physical stature going in there pressuring the defenders.
defenders, which is great to see great movement from a defensive, usually, player. He's also just shown he's very versatile. He actually finally played centre-back for Arsenal in their Carroll Cup third round match against Brentford and contributed to the 1-0 clean sheet victory. It was brilliant defensively against a very strong Brentford side. And his performances just get better and better. Tommy Asu was brilliant in Arsenal's 6-0 win against Lund in the Champions League, letting Arsenal win the group. He got minutes in this game in right back because Ben White was injured and he's been most impressive this season in the Champions League, I think. He got man the match away at Seville and was brilliantly defensive in that game. It was so good and he was so good again in this brilliant victory for Arsenal. He showed his quality from deep phases for Martinelli's goal, even though it could have been seen as a bit lucky because I don't know if he meant it, but it's a brilliant pass out to Martinelli. And even more encouraging, he finally did the Ben White run from right back. The Ben White run is basically where he runs from deep to get to the byline to help Saka in the overlap. This is really good for Arsenal over the years of helping them get past a deep block. And this has always been the thing about Tommy Asu. We know he's good defensively, but he's not really got that attacking output. But this time he finally showed it. Arsenal were already 4-0 up and he busted a gut to help Saka with the overlap. And he showed that end product at the end of it, which he'll be shown more and more each week. A brilliant cross to Odegaard to make it 5-0 at the time. And to make it all worthwhile, Tommy Asu got his first goal for the club against Sheffield United in the Premier League with that late goal to make it 5-0, which is completely deserved. I'm so happy he got his first Prem goal and that was his 50th game for the club. And that helped him get Arsenal's Player of the Month award in October this season, which is brilliant. You think about the players that Arsenal have right now and think about who got the man the matches last season and Player of the Month. And the fact that one of our backup players from last season has been so good this season, stepped up when we needed him to, is brilliant to see. And he has also been insane for his country, making up for that World Cup exit that he blames a lot on himself. With that insane performance in that 4-1 friendly win against Germany, where he was just absolutely everywhere. If you haven't seen the highlights to that game, it's crazy. Tommy Asu's performance is one of the best I've seen in a game as a defender. We're talking Harry Maguire against Chelsea for Hull. Yes. If you ask any Arsenal fan right now, I bet you they're telling you how much they love Tommy Asu. He's been so good this season. So when that news came out that Bayern wanted him, I think everyone was just like, please do not sell him. And it looks like Arsenal have finally given a new deal to Tommy Asu because he's on so little money compared to the rest of the team. And honestly, people like Ben White and maybe Zinchenko when Timber comes back are probably going to struggle to get into this team. So I think arguably Tommy Asu's been Arsenal's best player this season other than there may be a Declan Rice or a Bakai Saka. And I think at the current moment, there is real arguments to make that Tommy Asu is one of the best bargain signings ever and one of the most unknown good signings that they've done in a very long time. What do you guys think about Tommy Asu? How much do you think he's worth? Do you think Arsenal should give him a new deal? And do you think that he should be started ahead of Ben White or Zinchenko? Because I might be getting too excited again, but I think Tommy Asu, every time he puts an Arsenal shirt and he just gives you a decent 7 out of 10 performance, much like Nacho Monreal back in the day, which is a player that all top sides need and if we're going to win anything this season we're going to need people like this to be part of the team more thank you guys for watching and let me know who you want me to cover next see you in the next one